Welcome, everybody, to our next episode on building a Shopify store together. Um, as you guys can see, we've done a lot. We've created collection pages. We've changed some menus up here. Uh, we've created blogs. I mean, there's just heaps of stuff that we've done, and there's still more to go. And so we've done a lot, but we have a lot more to go. Now, um, where we're going to start, <clears throat> excuse me, is we will be um, creating a countdown timer banner. If you notice, um, we have a product here that's on sale. Uh, now, ideally, just be with me, you know, hear me out here, guys, is if I want to create an ad for this specific product, right, but I also wanted to gain interest from people from other products this would be ideally a cold traffic pro uh, ad um, and by the way I learned about like cold traffic ads things like that on wolf of Shopify which is where I get the theme from by the way if you guys don't know already where I get the theme from wolf of Shopify they have uh, this theme um, if you click on it they have the theme for sale um, but where I got the information behind um, the ads and things like that and where I really learned ads uh, this ebook that they have for 40 bucks um, Definitely, definitely recommend it. If you guys are going to take a look at different like trainings that they have, take a look. I personally purchased all their trainings. Uh, what's important with training, guys, is not that you just buy it, okay? It's important that you actually put it to action. I can't tell you how many times people, you know, you know, even with consulting that I have, uh, I give people advice on something and they just don't do it. Um, and even if they did do it, they would be massively successful. Uh, but there are times where I have clients that, you know, they actually listen to what I'm telling them to do and they soar through success. I, I mean, I remember uh, a customer, I don't know if, you, if you're listening right, this, right now, his name is Ben. Um, ben had a, a t-shirt store and he was selling, you know, and let's be honest here, they were kind of like mediocre t-shirts. Uh, but guess what? He was selling them and I helped him get like to like his first 1500 in sales using this certain method. Uh, when he got to 1500, I told him, listen, you're going to do this and this and this. And guess what? He boosted his income to like four or five grand. Uh, so he listened. He's an example of somebody who listened and he gained the success. A lot of people are not willing to listen. All right. Uh, so if you're going to do this route and actually learn, um, if you're going to do this, you need to legitimately listen to what they're saying. And so what I learned from the ads was uh, a, a good cold traffic ad. And I've, and I've paired this with my past experience, other courses and stuff is imagine we were going to create a cold traffic ad. All right. And with the cold traffic ad, we want to drive traffic. This, this product is 35% off. Um, the, the whole idea of the cold traffic ad is to introduce the people to our product who never met us before, who don't know about us. Um, but we're going to create the cold traffic ad what we need is correlation bias. So I'm going to add a section here for the countdown timer banner. So I, it's actually right here, countdown version one, and I'm going to hit select. What product is this that's on sale? Let's see. It's called the Classic Seamless Sports Bra. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and select image. Uh, wait, not image, background. Um, background image. Is that it? Is that the right one? Yeah, okay, that's not the one. Uh, this is the image, and we're going to look for that specific product. Um, so we don't have that actual image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to One Interactive and download that actual image of the classic seamless sports bra. So what I'm going to do is go to One Interactive. Where is it here? Um, let me just pause the screen and pull it up. Okay, here's their store. Let's pull up their sports bra. Um, the purple one, where is the purple one? Yes, this is it. We got to pull up an actual image of the sports bra that's kind of like up close. Um, this is a good one, shows the product. And let's go ahead and download the image. Okay, so that's one product image. Um, that's actually all we need for the, for the top image. Uh, let's go back here. And what we need to do is we need to add it here. So it could be right there. This will be the image here. Boom, there we go. And what we're going to do is they actually recommended a smaller size. So I'm going to pause the screen and just minimize the size real quick. I'm going to scale the image down. And let me just take care of that real quick. Okay, it took me a few tries there, but let's give that another shot. And there we go. Looks kind of decent. Looks a little bit too big for my liking, but it's not that bad. Um, then what we're going to do is... 
we're going to make sure we have um, all the information here. So it, it says year, month, date, time. This is for the countdown timer. Um, it's on sale, but it's it's ideally on sale for a certain period of time. Um, so let's just say ideally, hmm, let's go with a certain date here. So 20, let's go 2021, right? 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Let's hit save. Um, and let's make, we got to change the background here. The background is not ideal. Uh, with the way our store is looking so far, we're kind of favoring the light color scheme. Um, so what I could do is I could go to Canva and I can create like a, a almost like an image border of like circles, like background circles. I got this idea from the actual demo. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to head over to Canva and create the little background image right here. You guys can use any background image you like. I'm going to just be using the one that we're seeing. Let me just change the dates real quick. So let's say one, 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 one. see if that date changes at all. Um, let's hit save. And let me just pause the screen, like I said, and do what I got to do at Canva. Okay, so I'm going to be coming up with like a cool, just like circular designs everywhere. Um, so we have this one, we have this one. Sorry, my voice cracked for a second there. Uh, let's see. It's pretty good. Multiply this. I got this idea from uh, the Wolf of Shopify demo. I don't even know if they have it up anymore, but you guys get the point. Here. Here. Make it make this one real big. So something like this, something like this, right? Create a few more, smaller one, larger one here. Let's create another one. You guys kind of kind of get how it looks now. Let's just hit download. And let's use that image as the background image. So if I was to select background image, there we go. So it's going to look a lot better. You guys will see in a second. So there we go. <clears throat> the text has to be black, though. The, like, this is unacceptable. The, the like, white colored stuff. Um, unless I create it to be white and black, which is good, too. I mean, it's, up, it's really up to what we want to do. Um... If I select that, and, and I think that's actually what's going to have to happen here, because uh, it's not looking too too good. But this background, I, I'm really happy with the way it came out. I just don't like that it's white. I could make a setting that will change that. I could within the colors of the fonts here. So let's go back here and let's just take a look at some colors. Let's take a look at fonts maybe. Okay, so it's not the fonts. Maybe general, um, background, color, body. I don't know. I don't think this is going to be the one, but I don't think it is. Um, yeah, I don't think it is. But uh, let's let's just you know let's just change it back because I don't want to screw anything up. Um, so let's leave that the way it is. Yeah, I don't want to change that up. That that looks good to me. Uh, I don't want black. I want it to be white. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to or you know what maybe i didn't make this mistake if if we can leave this at white like a like a dark white it shouldn't be transparent technically like it shouldn't be like this part shouldn't show so if i could hit save and let, let's just see let's give it a shot here okay let's see what we got and if it doesn't change like i said we'll go, we'll take it back um but you know it kind of i think that's what is going to happen um it's all right let's just go back to canva let's make the background here gray and let's change everything to white. So something like that. Uh, which is not too bad if you ask me. Could be a little bit better. Uh, black would look really nice. Let's see if black is going to look nice. Yeah, black is black is nice. Um, you know what we could do too is we can create some kind of like subdivision. So I saw, I saw this before in in the in the theme uh in the demo that they have going on where they created like this cool subdivision so it's like if i grab 
let's say like I write paint here if I write paint um, it's like this subdivision and we'll make it all white because that what essentially the colors are and I just make it like this you know flip this over okay what did I just do okay there we go flip this over kind of like that you know something like this and let's get one more of those put it here and just kind of like this right so it'd be like all white and we'll just copy and paste everything over and drag it down if that makes sense um, that's good we'll just drag this down and drag these up right if I can make this bigger Okay, this is just a little kind of like subdivision that you guys are seeing, um, and it will all make sense once I upload it. Just bear with me here, guys. Like I said, the reason why I'm not cutting anything out is that you guys could see from scratch how this whole thing looks, uh, and let's hit download, and I promise it's going to look better. So, we have white here. Let's go back. Let's change the countdown timer. Let's change this. Let's drag this. There we go. So it looks a little bit better. Does it look amazing? Probably not. Um, I, if I get rid of this O-ring o right here, um, probably look better, to be honest with you. So I kind of like jinx myself. What if I make this gray? Maybe it might be better then. Let's give it a shot. Let's make this O a little bit smaller. Let's make this bigger. Drive it to the corner here. Let's hit download. Just give me another chance here, guys. And let's upload it. Okay, I, I feel that looks a little bit better. Um, does it look perfect? To be honest, no. It doesn't. It doesn't look perfect. Uh, but, it, but it's going to do the job for now. Um, let's just leave it the way it is. Uh, let's, and like I said, this is a work in progress. Nothing is ever going to be perfect, but it, it kind of does the job for now. Uh, let's What we're going to do here is we're going to edit the text. So we have our countdown timer, this whole dogs thing. I don't even know what that's about. Let's get rid of that. That's just preloaded text. Uh, Shop now is going to be available. What's the price of the product? The price of the product is 34 and it says 52 So, okay, let's get rid of 50. It should say 52 here. And should say 34, right? But instead of put 0 .00 and put a dollar sign, I think. That's what we should do. There we go. Um, put 0 .00 maybe. Maybe that looks a little bit cleaner. Uh, we could paste like a little bit of a description. So if I go over to One Interactive, get a little description here. So... One Reactive's collections, and let's paste the description so you can see here we already have the countdown timer. Um, paste this, change the link out, so for the bra, so let's search bra, and let's search uh, product. Let's select the, hmm, let's select the collection maybe, uh, bras collection, we'll just put it that way, and let's change the name, and let's change it to... Seamless Sports Bra. So, classic seamless sports bra. And let's save it at that. So, once again, colors are being cut off. Does it look good that way? Not really. I think I, I it would have been better if, like, it looks decent, uh, but it doesn't look amazing at the same time. It just doesn't. Um, you know, there's many things we could change. Uh, but I, like I said, I don't want to stick to it too much, um, because it's just not going to work out that way. Uh, but you know, it, it kind of does the job for now. Um, product pages, we can make some changes on product pages. There's a lot we could do. There's a lot we could do. Uh, so I'm going to just going to keep it simple, kind of like this for now. It's not my proudest moment, but it is what it is. So we have a split banner. We have some products here. We have the lookbook. Um, the lookbook, the background needs to change. If I create, uh, like maybe if I just create something that's solid, 
maybe it will look a little bit better and it doesn't have to be all graphical. Um, I'm just going to give this one more shot, as you guys could see here. Kind of correct some of the mistakes that I'm seeing. Let's let's just take out these fat ones, the fat circles, and let's just make a little bit more here of the bigger ones. And instead of making this kind of like this, let's just move this all up. Let's move it all up here. Let's move this all up also. And we could make this like dark. We, we could. Essentially, we could if we look at it. Do you think, do you guys think it would look good in dark? We'll see. We'll leave it the way it is. All right. We'll take a look. If it looks good, then it looks good. If it looks bad, then we'll, we'll leave it. But overall, it shouldn't look too bad. Okay. I'll hit download. Give it one last shot. Okay. Um, all right. Let's. Let's go back, let's hit change, and let's upload the all black. Okay, I mean, it does the job kind of. Is it is it my best? No, it's not, but it's going to have to do for now. Um, 485, can I change the image? Let's give it one more shot too. Like I said, we, we want things to look good, so I'm, I'm just going to try my best here. Let's grab this image. It's not downloading kind of the way I want to, but... It's going to have to do for now. Um, screenshot of this. And I want to scale it down, to be honest with you guys. Let's scale it down here. Where's the scale button? Uh, am I messing up here? Let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and scale this down. So, scale it. Let's scale it to, let's say, 900. Let's, let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, that should be good. If we wanted to, we could really make this like transparent, the white part, but we'll see. I think that might not look too good, but let's give it a shot. Remember guys, it's all about trying. As you guys, you see what I'm doing here is I'm trying to make it look decent. Um, yeah, looks all right. Um, let's hit save. Let's, let's hit select rather. I think it looks maybe better this way. Um... If we want to, you know, keep it this way. Uh, but th let's just keep it like that for now. The the countdown timer is going to pop up. Um, but, you know, we might as well leave it the way it is. Let's move our, um, our blog to the bottom. Okay, that's what we'll do. Um, we can add a few more different features. So we can add like an about us section, a frequently asked questions section. We can add our address. List collection. What is the list collection? Okay, yeah, so I've seen this before. We could do this. Uh, basically, what list collection is, is we're just showing off the actual collections through, like, an image. So um, we would have... The way, the way that ideally this would be built is through every single collection that we have, the image is showed off. So in my case, we can't do this because there are some images that overlap, right? So... Like, for example, bras, homepage, the product image is seen more than once. Leggings, like, this image is very similar to this one, right? Uh, so it's not really the way it would work. It, this would work better with the Alphalete theme, like this whole section right here. It would work better with the Alphalete theme, but if you are that type of person that um, has different select images for each one, it would be good. Uh, I think I would really like to do this with the Gymshark collection. I think it would be really good, um, but... Like I said, list collection, not ideal for me. Let's get rid of it. Um, let's see what else we could do. About Us. I think About Us is okay to add. Uh, it's an option. Let's see. We can add a news newsletters for sure. That's something we're going to need. So this is going to look clean. The purpose of newsletter, like I said, is to incentivize to get some kind of sign up. So I could say get 30% off your first order, right? Um, sign up below. And this, this would be something that people will read and they'll be like, oh, hey, I want 30% off. Like, and they're going to sign up. We can add a background image. I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it clean the way it looks. All right, let's hit save. And that's kind of built how it will look. This It's a decent build for the first go-around 
Um, can we make some changes? Absolutely, we probably can. Uh, the only one thing I would really like to do is I would like to add, like, Banner. Is it Banner 4 or Banner 3? It's not even Banner 3. It's Banner 2. Banner 2 with a good, like, a really good banner, which I don't, unfortunately, have, like... I mean, this could work as a banner. Uh, like I said, um, the unfortunate part is for the person who uh, requested uh, for me to make a store about One Interactive, like a remake store, it's good, but they just don't have that much content. Like, they, they have a lot of Instagram content, but they don't have content on their website, which, like I said, is not the best um, approach when it comes to building a business. Like, your website should house all this stuff, but... Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Um, we're using what we have. Like, for example, this is an image I found online, and it's it's pixelated. Like, there's not much I could do with that. Um, th this is a banner too, but it's pix super pixelated. It's not even not even considered a banner, really. Um, you know, just just not. There's just not too many options. Uh, like, let's see this one maybe. This one once again not an option. The only image that's really an option is what I did before, which is this one. And unfortunately, I can't even put that up there because it just doesn't match. It doesn't look good. <clears throat> and it's not going to convert. That This is essentially a conversion killer if I do something like this, uh, which I, I can't. I can't do it. I really want to do it, but I can't. Um, even if I switched it up and I went with something like this, like, let me show you guys. If I went with something like this, it's overused already. Like, this banner is overused. This banner has been used in every aspect. Like, it's been used here. It's been used here. So, you know, banners are important. Like, if you're if you're in the business of creating stores, you need content for good banners. That's just, it's just not good that there's not enough banners. But that's all right. Uh, flash sale, you could add a flash sale section. Um, basically, what flash sale is going to do is it's going to basically add a section of products that are just for sale. Um, uh, an about us page or about us section, excuse me. Um, let's see here. We have slideshows. So slideshows are right. They're decent. We have different product versions that we could show. So we could do this. Let's just look through them. So we have bestsellers. We have, we have a whole bunch. So what we'll do is we'll do product version three. And we'll add product version 5. You guys don't have to do this if you want to. If you think it's overkill, it's not necessary. I would really do this with different selections of products. Especially for those who are doing drop shipping, this would work out great. right? Um, but since we're, we have limited products, so like I said, One Reactive has very limited products. There's not much I can do. Like This is 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is like... Like, a little bit over 15 products for the whole entire store is not much at all. You know what I mean? Which is why I said earlier, this collection style, like, if we if we just select tops, for example, this collection style is amazing for stores that have limited amounts of products. Like, it's it's probably the highest converting out there. Um, but that, you know, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and save our progress. Uh, let's go down here to uh, product number three. We have different tabs. Uh, we have obviously different tabs. We have shirts. We have, let me look for the shirts one. Uh, shirts, no, shirts, not shorts, sorry. We have shirts. We have leggings. Right? There's, there's really two ways we could do this. We, you know, we could even segment it even easier. Instead of doing, listing out shirts and all this stuff, we could do just tops and bottoms. Honestly, right? Let's hit change. Let's search for tops here. And it would be all the tops, right? Versus all the bottoms. So let's search bottoms. Let's search for bottoms. So all the tops versus all the bottoms as a clickable kind of way. Um, <clears throat> we could set a limit on the number of products. Like if we wanted to limit it to like, let's say four, right? And, and, you know, it'll be viewable kind of like that. So four here. And then for the tops, we could also set it to four. So it'd be four and four like this, which is, which is uh, once again, an idea. Uh, but like I said, this is going to be better with people who have like more than 
let's say 25 options of products like 25 products or more this would be perfect for same thing here especially if you have like a lot of different variant collections like general stores this works really well with um product version 5 so it's like a main banner image so if you were to let's say like i said this is another problem that the lack of banners the lack of images causes problems with this theme uh, because you need content like you need content uh, and one reactive is is kind of like the store that's like has limited amount of content like let's just face it, it really does other than images of products it's it, there's not that much to it um, let's check out their Instagram uh, see if there's any content we could grab from there um, let's go ahead and download this image maybe let's see here download the image and use that as the banner you see we already used this image so I don't want to overdo it you know um, but uh, four out of five images fail to upload we don't need to upload five images that's a good image or decent even though it's somewhat pixelated it's gonna work for now um, being that this is let's select home page so this is gonna grab all home page style products It's not gonna show like this obviously if we decided to show let's say three or four, even four, it's going to be a slider. Um, the button color, uh, really, I mean, black is pretty decent. Uh, let's go ahead and edit this text. Like, we don't even need to have a title. I don't know why there is a title. Um, we aren't, you know what, we could, we might as well add a title. We could say, let's make it black first of all. Let's make this black. And we could type in shop all our new fall season gear. We could add a point right there to save. It should be a slider. Let's give it a shot. Let's see. So the color. I'll leave it to be black and the hover will be blue so whenever somebody hovers over the image it will be uh, the button it will be blue the it will say shop now make sure it's in all caps by default this would be in all caps and let's just preview this should be a slider right here this shouldn't have it on top of each other but let's see so, there we go so it's a slider so you could see here how it's a slider like that so that's good does the job um, you could you could really give this a shot depending on what you're doing uh, I would put the newsletter somewhere above these sections because You want to create some interest with products up here then have a newsletter, right? Then have the products again um, But but I would also move the blog all the way to the bottom like that's just the general rule So we'll move it all the way to the bottom. There we go. So That's decent for now uh, I think we've spent enough time on this episode. What we've got done was we just continued adding more to the home page. Um, uh, in the next episode, we'll work on the funnel. Um, so, yeah, we'll get that done. Uh, excuse me, not the funnel, the footer. And, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and move on to tomorrow, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, so see you guys then. All right, peace.